Hey everyone, it's Travis Michael. I'm working on this Aeon unit back here, making some repairs to it. This is actually a follow-up video to uh, one of the videos I already did when I was out here and I diagnosed the issues with this unit. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out yet, I'll put a link uh, right on your video screen here. You click on that, you can check it out first and then come back to this one. If you already watched that video, thanks for tuning back in. Appreciate it. So when I was originally out here, we were having some problems with the uh, compressor contactors and the uh, time delay relays. Uh, when the compressor contactors go bad, the coils go bad, it draws too much amperage through the time delay relays and the uh, guaranteed off timer relays that it actually makes them go bad too. So uh, I told my customer the best course of action here, you know, we were basically running on one compressor. So I told him the best course of action is let's just replace all four contactors, there's four compressors in this machine. And then there's we'll replace all the time delays for all, all four compressor circuits. So that's what we went and did. And I'm gonna show you what, what we got going on here. So you can see those are the uh, four new compressor contactors. And then over here are all our time delays. Now what we have is we have four guaranteed off timers and we have three time delay relays. So the reason why we only have three time delay relays as opposed to the four guaranteed off timers is, is we don't need a time delay relay on compressor number one. You know, when the control system or whatever, however you got it hooked up to a thermostat, in this particular case we have a, a CCN carrier controls network uh, control in this building but so you know we get a signal for cooling for Y1 we want it to run right away we don't want to wait five minutes for the compressor to come on we need cooling right away and reason you know so we don't need the time delay relay there the guaranteed off timer is necessary for compressor one to keep it from short cycling you know if you're if your Y1 signal drops out and then comes back in two minutes the system's gonna come right back on. You wanna give it a, you know, I think I, I set it for about five minutes uh, guaranteed off time. You know, you let the system equalize out and, uh, you know, this way you're not short cycling back on and off. And also if there's some sort of issue going on with the low pressure switch. And then the other time delays are necessary in case for whatever reason that, you know, if the, the building's in uh, night setback and comes into the morning, you know, when uh, the schedule goes to normal, if, if it quickly gets, you know, Y1, Y2, uh, all the way up to Y3, Y4, you know, if it gets all signals at once or, or pretty close to each other, we'll, get, we'll space out the compressor start time. You know, that's the, kind of the logic behind that. A, a lot of times these units, um, you know, they don't really have a good control board. You know, most uh, York units, carrier units, they have a lot of times they have a control board that does all the logic for you. You don't need time delay relays because it's all built in to the logic of that control board. But I guess with Aon, I don't know if their their idea is that a lot of people are going to hook these up to a building management system. So a lot of times the control contractor is going to come in with their own devices and you're probably not even going to need those time delays. They'll have the logic programmed into their controller to operate how they want it to operate. But here, you know, basically our control network is just is supplying the Y1, Y2, Y3, Y4 signals. So that's why we have these time delays in place. Here's a closer look at our timers. You know, like I said, up here, they have them labeled as guaranteed off timers, but the, the ICM part, it says uh, delay on break timer. So basically, that's what happens when, you, when your call for uh, cooling breaks, you know, when, you're, when, you're, when you lose your voltage here, uh, that's when the delay is going to be activated. And like I said, I got them set for five and minutes. They, you know, these are my time delay relays. The ICM calls them delay on make timers. So basically, when the, when the contact makes, that's when the delay begins. So when you get 24 volts at that relay, that's when the delay starts. I got them set for about about three minutes. It's not really necessary to have them any longer than that in this system because I have the guaranteed off time. It's going to keep the system from short, short cycling. And then that's just kind of space out the staging if you get multiple calls for cooling at one time. I'm just trying to catch some shade for a minute. My phone overheated. It wouldn't let me record anymore. So I had to put it in the VAP section of the unit to let it cool down for a minute. But... So I showed you guys the timers and the contactors that I replaced. But what about this issue from happening again? Uh, in my first video, I talked about adding fuse protection. So that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. We'll go over there. So here you can see I added some inline fuse protection. I got two here and two here. One, one for each compressor circuit, basically. Uh, as I said earlier, I only have three of these because I don't need a delay on make timer on the uh, on compressor one. But basically what I did was I'll show you the wiring diagram over here. Here's the schematics for compressor contactor one, two, three, and four. And 
you can see that we got the guaranteed off timer, time delay relay. Here's the first circuit with just the guaranteed off timer. I basically just cut right here and installed the fuse, a little one amp glass fuse in each of those fuse holders. So, so what that's going to do is going to basically protect those time delay relays. If any one of those compressor contactors fail again, if the coil goes bad and starts drawing too much amperage, it's going to blow that fuse long before it's going to blow the time delay relays. The time delay relays are both stamped on it that they're rated at one and a half amps. And like I said, I put a little one amp glass fuse in there and that thing will, will cut out for the uh, time delay relays, you know. So just a step I like to take, you know, this way we don't, if we get another compressor contact or failure here, we're not changing the relays again. It saves us time and it saves customer money in the long run. You know, it took me a little bit extra time just to put those fuses in and wire everything, make it neat. But I think it's well worth it in the long run. So that's all I got for this video today. Got the system back online, tested everything out, made sure all four compressors are running, everything looks good. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. I got a lot of new content coming. If you guys like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you got any questions or comments, comment down below. I'll respond to them. Also, check me out on Twitter at underscore Travis Michael. Thanks for watching the video. I appreciate your support. I'll see you in the next one.